is the most pressing issue in this area is uh, unreliable rainfall because the community uh, engages mainly in farming and fishing. And so uh, the biggest problem around is um, unreliable rainfall. And one of the ways we can mitigate this challenge is tree planting. So we are here today with my colleagues from different organizations um, under the support of JWH Uganda to teach people in such an informal setting and out of class experience uh, because it is one way you can collect local people but also keep them uh, participative and also uh, interested in the message. We call upon all other activists and environmental enthusiasts out there to, up, to uh, embrace these informal ways of teaching people about climate so that people can have um, an on-ground experience but also have entertainment so they can be attracted to this message. About educating communities on the need to join, climate, uh, to join other climate activists to participate in climate action. One, uh, it's high time that the young people and local communities should know that climate change has a cumulative effect it affects them the most, yet they don't have a space to advocate for policies that would, that would mitigate them. This is, a, this is a very exciting activity that it brings many people, many local communities. It informs them on, uh, the day, on, on what climate change is affecting them and how they should take part on, on how they should lead the action against uh, climate change impacts. And, uh, and I think this uh, goes to, uh, I think, everyone not just this community, even the neighboring community, that it begins with us. Cousin Gemma, online, live from Hoima City.